Hey, Tim here. And in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through some new features in Tableau 10. I'm specifically focusing in on mobile device design in Tableau 10. So one of the most asked for features in Tableau has been the ability to design for devices. And so I'm actually gonna take a, a workbook that I've worked on before. And uh, this was a little dashboard I'd built um, as a marathon route scout. And I actually built two versions of this. In previous versions of Tableau, what you had to do was build two versions, one for mobile and one for tablet, and maybe a third version for desktop. And then you'd have to rely on CSS and JavaScript to dynamically switch between the content. Uh, essentially, the web-based code was deciding which one of the three visualizations to show. And that sort of gave you this fake but gave the same impression as uh, responsive or more uh, de mobile device design. Now, the thing is, this new feature isn't responsive and you'll see why in a second. So I've got a dashboard here and what I can actually do is do a device preview. And when I click on that, you see the device pane at the top turns up and immediately I get this sort of border going around my visualizations. And what that's showing me is, if I was to look at this on this particular device, this is where the screen would cut off my visualization. So I can actually start to customize this for different devices. So here, I've taken a tablet, I take a generic tablet, and I can actually click Add Table Layout, Tablet Layout, sorry. And when I do that, you have the default view up here, and then you have the tablet view here. And I can actually just choose a standard option, for example, to fit all on this particular view. And Tableau automatically sizes the content down. And it does actually a pretty good job of that. Uh, I, it did a good enough job for that particular one that I'd actually trust it just to do that. And I don't, I don't need to change that uh, again, basically. And then you've obviously got different devices. So you could actually go through, for example, and choose the iPad. And again, this has the same uh, parameters, uh, but what you can do is, for example, change this for different devices. So if I say went for the Google Nexus 7, it doesn't necessarily allow me to create a different device layout for the Nexus 7 as it does for the iPad. And that's a shame because they are quite different devices, uh, very different screen resolutions. But um, as a first start, I think this is a great feature. If I ever change the device to let's say a phone, then I do get the option to add a phone layout. And again, like before, I can actually add a layout here. Now you'll notice one of the challenges with the phone layout is that it's much, much thinner. And if I actually switch to an iPhone, let's say uh, six plus, uh, you, you can see that although the content it fits on quite nicely, uh, we do have a few challenges here and we actually have to redesign the visualization. And the way in which Tableau lets you do this is it assumes that you're gonna use all the same elements and you're gonna just resize them and reposition them. So one of the things I did in this particular dashboard was that I used a floating layout container. So here we have a floating element. Here we actually have a layout container that contains three elements. We have a floating logo. And again, we have a floating visualization here. And the problem with this design method using floating is that it comes to bite you in the back uh, when you do mobile design because um, everything fits better when it's in layout containers in mobile device design uh, because you've got to essentially think of it as a canvas and so everything has to fit on nicely so that when you scroll, uh, there's a logical position to everything. So what can I do to rectify this in this particular dashboard? now? What I'm going to do to get me going is actually I'm just going to tell Tablet, OK, look, fit the width. That is my absolute bare minimum. And you can see here that um, there's a little bit of a constraint in terms of height. So it's basically squashed everything into this tight space. So to give myself a bit of more space to work with, I'm going to increase the height. And you can see what Tableau does is it adds content to the bottom. Now, I'm also going to just move uh, this floating element over here. And I'm just gonna ask this to stop being floating, okay? And I'm gonna do the same with this race predictor as well. I'm gonna say, don't make that floating either. Uh, and then you can start to see that I'm starting to get the resemblance of a dashboard here. Uh, that's gone to the bottom. Uh, 
the map needs a little bit more space. So I'm just going to drag this down a bit, a little bit, and bring that there as well. And uh, this particular area here, I have to be very careful, is also a layout container. So I'm just going to drag that out. And I'm also just going to make that not floating. And when I do that, it's taking it right to the bottom. And I just want this to be above the race split calculator. So I'm just going to put that there. Now, this is a little bit messy. Things are a little bit everywhere. But that's sort of the, the you know, the nature of this is that this is actually a fair reflection of what you'd have to do if you're designing on, say, the web, where you have to design a slightly different uh, um, design for different devices. Now, the reason I said this wasn't responsive is because what it's not doing is having a single dashboard to dynamically reflect uh, the different constraints. There, there's no such thing as breakpoints. And this is a this is an, a challenging one. And I think I'm just going to try and explain why I think it's a good idea that Tableau didn't implement responsive design into the dashboard. So responsive design in web design is typically used because you're using uniform items. So for example, buttons all tend to have the same properties. There are a certain width, a certain height, and they tend to, tend, to, tend to sort of follow the same set of rules, right? So a button normally goes after an action. Um, it can normally be collapsed into very small or very big items. Uh, same with a paragraph. A paragraph is a sort of group of text uh, it has a pretty consistent set of rules, like paragraph spacing above and below. And um, again, you can fairly easily predict what should happen to a paragraph, whether you're on a phone, uh, a tablet, or a computer. Now, with a visualization, the same rules don't apply. Not every single visualization has the same consistent elements across the dashboard. And so I think it's actually a good thing that responsive design isn't part of Tableau 10. Um, it wouldn't hurt if it was a feature, but uh, I'm not exactly complaining that it's not it's not it's not in the tool uh, for the reasons I've just explained. And so if I just go back to this, uh, if I focus back on the visualization, you can see here I'm just spacing things out, making sure that everything is legible. Um, I'm leaving some space at the bottom here for some legends and some items and some hints. Um, these click activities don't quite work on a mobile. I think uh, you'd want to change these to touch. Um, but the issue with this, if I change it here, it does actually uh, change across the, the dashboard. So where I'm, I'm inclined to leave this as is uh, rather than to edit that. And that's maybe um, you know a, a tweak you, you'll have to get used to. You maybe have to drag in a new text item and reflect that change over here. Now, uh, if I just scroll up, I can see I've got the elevation item here that shouldn't be there. And this should actually sit across the top. So I should put that just over there. And uh, what I can do is I can lift this Lego just here and the map, the map needs a little bit of customization because um, it, it doesn't uh, it doesn't quite work. So I'm just going to allow pan and zoom for a second, and I'm just going to uh, won't let me actually move this across. So if you just bear me one second, um, there you go. So now what I can do is I can zoom this across. If I just ref reset that it comes across nicely and sits at the top very well so now i have a new problem with the logo and you see in this particular case the logo is actually a bad choice of color so maybe i need a different logo for this particular thing or i can keep it in this very very tiny area here so it just depends on what you're going for i could put it across the top but no i didn't want to do that because for me the map is is a, is, a, is a key feature. And so here I have a dashboard and I've made some changes here, but now I have three different designs. I have a phone design, a tablet design, and a default design. And uh, you can see one really important thing here. Now, if I just uh, reset that, you can see that my change to the phone design has actually adjusted uh, what's going on with all my other maps. And this is uh, slightly frustrating, 
um, because I'd actually what I'd actually done is I'd created a custom positioning here and it's uh, it's changed it somewhat so it should actually be more like this and uh, in the other maps it should be slightly different so um, it's a little bit of a shame uh, there but at least this feature is coming along nicely it could just be that I'm not using this correctly as well so uh, as with all new things uh, you learn more from the community uh, but in my limited testing this is as far as I've got um, you can definitely work within these limitations and you can also uh, create uh, some more best bespoke options and I just think the fact that you have the ability to preview for different devices is, uh, is a really big step forward in the right direction. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts. I'd love to know if you've uh, enjoyed using this feature and, and also if you've been discovering any sorts of niggles. I've definitely discovered a few and um, obviously been sending them back to the beta feedback. But some of it, as I've explained, is expected behavior and we just have to sort of learn to work within the limitations. Um, and so that's it. That's been mobile device design in Tableau 10.